In this video, I'm gonna give you guys a spring update on our gardening and our uh, backyard orchard and just kind of show you guys what's going on. So uh, let's jump right on into it. Hey y'all, this is Eric with East Texas Homestead and this channel is all about my family's journey to self-sufficiency and debt-free living. We talk about all things homesteading, tractors, homeschooling, gardening, and uh, just kind of all sorts of different things. So, hey, if you like this, go ahead and subscribe and uh, click that bell notification icon so you know whenever we put out new videos. So we're doing a decent amount of container gardening this year. Um, you know, some stuff that's ornamental, some stuff that's, uh, that's actually uh, edible. So we've got just some, some pretty flowers that, that got beat back by the, the heavy rains. Uh, I've got some, some boots <laughs> down there. Um, we've got, you know, some peppermint and uh, lavender here. Coming over here, we've got some lemongrass and back behind. Uh, let's see, what do we have? Uh, we've got some basil, we've got some beans, and um, that's some stevia and some lemon balm. And we're, uh, we're trying out propagating um, some uh, some rosemary, we've got some more beans, and then we've got a bunch more flowers and stuff. So I don't think I actually made a video about this, but we started some seeds inside this year, and uh, some of them have already been planted. These uh, we're getting a really late start on, uh, but you know that kind of seems to be the way we do things around here. Um, so right here, I guess we've got some so we've got some tomatoes, we've got some more kale, we've got even more tomatoes. Uh, we've got some onions and cantaloupe and watermelon and uh, oh, what all else is in there at the moment? Um, uh, banana peppers, I think. So some of that's already been planted and um, we'll kind of go down there here in just a second. All right, so for the raised bed garden, um, this thing is, this year we're, we're kind of going with a, a messy, um, just kind of polyculture thing going on right so um, there's a lot of seeds that are coming back up from the year before that we're just letting go and we're gonna see what comes up what doesn't uh, and then we're gonna kind of plant in and around it so you can see like I said so we've got we got some peppers and we've got you know some tomatoes and other things that that I've planted um, check out the parsley I mean this this parsley's gone gone absolutely nuts definitely don't need all of this but um, you know hey it's there so we're not going to do anything about it until, you know, I actually need to plant something. I'll go ahead and, um, you know, dig it out or, you know, just kind of move it off to the side. So you can see we've got some onions growing, going up. We've got a, a bunch of what I think are sunflowers that are emerging because we had those big sunflowers last year. I saved a ton of the seeds uh, and I've actually kind of scattered them around the property. But I think there's just a lot of sunflower seeds left in this bed. So, you know, that'll be kind of cool. Got native blackberries. Only problem with these guys is that they are um, they're sending out runners and they're just popping up all over the place. And I really don't want this bed to be a giant blackberry bed. Uh, I'll show you why because we've got I mean, we've got blackberries everywhere. So um, you know we've got the onions that that we planted a few years back. I guess it was last last spring, and they are um, they're going to be going to seed here soon. Our, t our strawberries are, are looking good. We've got all these little guys. I really have no idea what's in here. Uh, I really want to wait until I can definitely identify it as a weed before I'm pulling it out. So you can see the kale is absolutely just gone wild. Um, it's definitely putting on a lot of blooms. Um, it's so crazy to me how this how this kale kind of changes shape from being round to um, flat. I, I don't even know how to explain it. I've never I've never seen that before. So, I don't know. Pretty cool. But we're definitely going to be collecting a lot of a lot of seeds from this this year. Uh, we've been eating off of it like crazy. Um, but, you know, it's kind of coming to an end, I suppose. So, we've got, you know, I think, I think these over here. Um, sorry, it's hard for me to see my screen. I think that's uh, some of those sunflowers. So, you know, I've been planting stuff all throughout here. I'm going to take all those things, all the plants that were still up there in the cups and put them in here. Here's some flat Italian parsley. Um, down here we've got some wildflowers. We've got more uh, more rosemary planted up. We've got some raspberries that were just never planted. A little wild ragweed, you know, that needs to be taken care of, obviously. And uh, some comfrey that, that planted itself there. So, 
Um, so that's kind of what we've got going on here. Let me take you on uh, uh, around the property real quick. Okay, so over here we've got uh, what's turned into our blackberry bush. It really wasn't supposed to be that. Um, we've got our, our mini swell, if you want to call it that, down here, where we've got this water. And we've got kids' toys all over the place, for sure. Um, so the water weeps out the side of the, uh, the back cut there and then, you know, off the top of the house and then come, comes down and it's always, probably through August, we're going to have water in here. And this is where we've got lots of frogs and we'll put some tadpoles and, or uh, uh, minnows and stuff in there. Not minnows, uh, goldfish. Um, got a little culvert here. The water comes through and then it just, it's constantly soaking in over here. So we figured might as well kind of let it do its thing. We've, we've scattered some seeds back here uh, from, you know, just wildflowers and um, we've done a lot of, uh, threw a lot of those um, sunflower seeds out there, which I'm not sure if we'll get any of them to germinate, but that would be kind of cool. All right, so my phone overheated and uh, I had to basically wait till later in the day and I don't have my mic with me, but let's, uh, let's go back up here. And so the audio quality is probably going to be a little worse all of a sudden, but uh, we'll wrap this up. So uh, let's get up here to the, uh, you'll see all that bare dirt because I took, took down a really big hill. So we've got peaches like crazy. I've been thinning them out. I'll come in here and, and just rub off, you know, the ones that are really close to each other and thin them out to, to where hopefully they're somewhere around, I don't know, six inches apart or so. All right, coming in here, and I'll take this one. You know, it's pretty small anyway. So, got lots of peaches, hundreds of peaches. Then we've got, this is our first year with plums. So, we've got plums all over this tree. We'll see if they last. Blackberries, the Santa Rosa, or the uh, Shinko pear there. It's, uh, it's looking pretty good. And another uh, plum tree. All these mulberries are leafing out real good. And uh, I forgot to trim down this, this mulberry here. Hello. And it's actually putting on, putting on flowers. So, I don't know if you can see it. Probably not. So what do you think, buddy? Uh, pretty good. Pretty good? Bye. You ready to see some of these? Yeah, these, look. Uh, what do you have there? I have a jaw or something. Yeah, where'd you find it? Uh, me and Dad like went over there and like dug out the chin. Then Dad like handed over like to me like about like six bones. Yeah, they were down in the trench. It's crazy. After uh, after I got off work today, what did you guys help me do? We did this. Yeah. What we is it? Installed a new pipe. Installed a new water spigot. Yep. Over here by yeah. the garden. Yep. Did y'all climb under the house and, and help me glue the pipes mm -hmm. together and all that yeah. stuff? That's pretty cool. All right, guys, that's pretty much it. All I have time for today, but I uh, just want to give you a, an idea of kind of what we're doing in our garden this, this spring, uh, 2019, and um, got some burgers on the grill, so I'm going to take those off, and we're going to go eat. And give us a thumbs up. Oh, yeah, that's right. Hey, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up.